Okay, so first off, we're looking here at the lateral aspect of an equine pelvic limb. We see the hip muscles here on the superficial side. If we look up, we'll start dorsal and kind of work our way ventral. First off, we see this very large chunk of muscle right up here, and that's going to be the middle gluteal muscle. Right on kind of the ventral aspect of the middle gluteal, you see this muscle here that's kind of a V-shaped muscle. That V-shaped muscle is the superficial gluteal. Just cranial to the superficial gluteal is this upside down V-shaped muscle, which is gonna be the tensor fascia lata. So when you look at it next to each other, the tensor fascia lata is kind of an upside down V, and the superficial gluteal is a right side up V. And they're right next to each other. Attaching to the tensor fascia lata, of course, is this thick fascia, which is the fascia lata. Just caudal to the superficial gluteal is this very long, robust muscle here. That's going to be the biceps femoris, since we're looking at an equine pelvic limb. And you will probably notice that there are three kind of almost separated heads down here distally. Those are not separate muscles. Those are all pieces of the biceps femoris muscle. Just caudal to the biceps femoris will be the semitendinosus. And just medial to the semitendinosus will be the semimembranosus. Now, if we transition here, Okay, so here we're looking at a little bit deeper dissection of the same vicinity. Here again, we can see the tensor fascia lata. And the fascia lata has been removed in this limb, allowing us to visualize the vastus lateralis muscle. Within the vastus lateralis is the hot dog muscle, which is the rectus femoris muscle. If we reflect the tensor fascia lata, just deep to that, we see the lateral side of the iliacus muscle. Moving caudally, we then see the other V-shaped muscle here, which is gonna be the superficial gluteal. And if we reflect that, now we can see the majority of what the middle gluteal muscle looks like. Deep to the middle gluteal, if you cut it and reflect it, You'll see this bright, shiny tendon. This tendon is associated with the accessory gluteal muscle. The muscle belly that's just deep to the accessory gluteal, and we see here, which is a quite expansive muscle, the deepest of all of them is gonna be the deep gluteal muscle. So the deepest of these is the deep gluteal, just superficial to that is the accessory, and just superficial to that is the middle gluteal. Now as we continue to work our way caudally here, again we approach that biceps femoris here. Again here we can actually see those three distal heads have kind of been separated out, but this is all the biceps femoris muscle. If we flip the limb up and actually kind of have a caudal view of it, we can now see the semitendinosus and the semimembranosus, which is kind of the most medial of these hamstring muscles. And if we reflect the biceps femoris and look just on the caudal aspect of this middle gluteal muscle, there's a separate muscle, and you can tell by its muscle fiber orientation, this separate muscle on the caudal edge of the middle gluteal is the piriformis muscle. You can tell it's the piriformis because it inserts a little further distally than the greater trochanter. Now we will flip the leg over and do some of the medial muscles. So now we're essentially looking at a quite superficial view of the medial muscles of the pelvic limb and thigh area. This muscle that to me almost kind of looks like a dinner plate or a, a, maybe a, a saucer is the gracilis muscle. And just on the cranial edge of that, we see this pretty robust strap of muscle, and that's gonna be the sartorius muscle. If we reflect the distal portion of the sartorius and the distal portion of the gracilis, it kind of opens up a few of the other muscles that we need to look at. 
If we come back here to the caudal side again, we can visualize the semimembranosus muscle. Just cranial to the semimembranosus is the adductor muscles. And in the equine, the adductor muscles can usually be separated into the adductor magnus, or the larger one, and the adductor brevis, or the shorter one. This little piriform shaped muscle we see just cranial to that is the pectineus muscle. Now since we're back to the cranial side, we can visualize some of the other quadriceps muscles. So this is all the quadriceps femoris here. We saw the vastus lateralis on the lateral side. This is the vastus medialis. And again, the rectus femoris or the hot dog muscle. And then if we reflect the rectus femoris, and look deep down into there, we can actually visualize the vastus intermedius. So if you remember from small animal, the quadriceps femoris is the hot dog muscle, the three vastus muscles make up the bun, and the rectus femoris makes up the hot dog. Looking in this vicinity, we can also see a couple of the other muscles that we need to know. That being this muscle right here with this very shiny tendon associated with it, that's the psoas minor muscle. And just lateral to that, this larger muscle is the psoas major. And the psoas major is going to fuse distally with the iliacus in order to form the iliopsoas, which is that muscle deep down underneath that sartorius muscle. The other structure that we have to be aware of in this area is going to be this large muscle that we see spanning along the dorsal aspect of the ischium and pubis. And that's just going to be the internal obturator muscle in equine. Now that's a little bit different in bovine because there's no internal obturator in the bovine. They have what we call an intrapelvic part of the external obturator. Next, we're going to move a little further distal and look at some of the muscles of the cruce. So again, we're looking at an equine pelvic limb. These muscles are a little bit different between the equine and bovine species. In the equine, the muscle mass that's seen right here, the most superficial or the most cranial of these cruce muscles, is going to be the long digital extensor muscle. If we reflect that long digital extensor muscle, we can now see this very thick, shiny tendon. That's actually a muscle that's going in the, in the horse. It's more so a tendon than a muscle, but that's the fibularis tertius muscle. And the muscle belly that you see right here that's surrounding that fibularis tertius muscle and lying right on the bone of the tibia, this muscle that I'm holding right here is the cranial tibial muscle. If we move a little more to the lateral aspect, now we can see some of the lateral cruce muscles and that's going to include the lateral digital extensor and just caudal to it, the lateral digital flexor, which is a part of the deep digital flexor muscle. In this cadaver, we also have a very nice representation of this kind of thin strap-like muscle right here on the lateral edge of kind of the proximal cruce. That's going to be the soleus muscle. And it's going to be right next to the lateral head of the gastrocnemius. If we flip this leg over to the medial aspect and reflect some of the muscles we've already seen, including the semimembranosus and semitendinosus, we can now visualize the medial head of the gastrocnemius. That's this muscle right here. And we can also visualize this tendon that's coming up with this smaller piece of muscle, and that's going to be the medial digital flexor. Again, another piece of the deep digital flexor. And in this specimen, it's not quite cleaned out yet, but there's a muscle right here on the proximal medial aspect of the tibia attaching directly to the bone, and that is going to be the popliteus muscle. Finally, the third piece 
and of the deep digital flexor in these guys is a little tough to see here, but it's going to be running kind of right up on the caudal most aspect of the cruise, and it's going to be the caudal tibial muscle.